Marvel, The Amazing Spider-Man, an origin story it's based on the Marvel comic book series Spider-Man, adapted by Rich Thomas, interior illustrated by the Storybook Art Group. Hello friends, before we begin our exciting read aloud story, please take a second and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. In case you like our video, please give us a thumbs up and share with your friends. Now, let's get back to our story. Have you ever felt lonely, sad, powerless? Peter Parker felt that way every day. He was a student at Midtown High. Some of the other kids at school didn't understand why Peter enjoyed the things he did. And sometimes when kids don't understand something, they can act cruelly. Peter enjoyed all his classes, but science was his favorite. He was the best student Midtown High had seen in many years, and his teachers were very proud of him. The only thing Peter loved more than science was his family. He lived with his Aunt May and Uncle Ben in Queens, New York, and whenever Peter felt sad at school, he remembered he'd be home soon and he'd start to smile. Even though some of the kids at school didn't like him, Peter never stopped trying to be friendly. He had heard about a great demonstration at the science hall. He asked the other kids if they wanted to join him. The other students just laughed at Peter. One of them, a bully named Flash Thompson, even pushed him to the ground. He fell. He picked up his books and walked away. By the time Peter arrived at the science hall, he had forgotten all about his classmates' cruel actions. All he could think about was the experiment. He couldn't wait to see how the scientists would control a radioactive wave. The rays were ready. Peter eagerly looked on, but so did something else. The demonstration was about to begin. Peter was awed by the experiment. He was thrilled to be there in the company of such brilliant scientists. He wanted to be just like them, smart, talented, amazing. Everyone was so fascinated that no one noticed when something unplanned occurred. A spider descended between the rays just as they were activated. And as the radioactive spider fell, dying, it bit the nearest living thing, which happened to be Peter Parker. As soon as he was bitten, Peter felt weak and tired. The room began to spin. The scientists noticed that Peter looked ill and they offered to help him. But Peter just wanted to get out of the dark laboratory and into the fresh air. Peter felt a sudden, peculiar tingling in his head. It was an itching, urging, nagging feeling. The only thing he understood about it was that he was meant to react, to do something. So he did. He just jumped! And got stuck to the wall. Peter was sure he was dreaming. He couldn't really be climbing up a wall. Nobody could do that. When he reached the roof, he grabbed onto a chimney and dreaming. crushed it. It was real, right? Yep. He didn't have that kind of strength. Peter felt the tingling feeling again. This time it gave him the urge to spring. And so he jumped from one tall roof to another. And when he wanted to go back down to the street, the same strange feeling told him the easiest way to get there was to climb down a clothesline. Peter stared at himself in amazement. How could this be happening? Then Peter realized he had started feeling different right after being bitten by that spider in the lab. Somehow the experiment must have affected the dying creature. And when it bit Peter, it transferred its powers to him. As he wandered home, amazed and half dazed, a sign outside an old wrestling theater caught his eye. 
It would be the perfect way to test all of his newfound abilities. Defeat Crusher! Win $1,000! That's what the poster said. Peter rushed home. And then he rushed right back. That's Peter rushing home. And then he rushed back. And now he's wearing some kind of a costume. He's wearing not a costume. Not a real costume. Yeah, a fake costume. Peter was ready to test his new powers on a brutish wrestler called Crusher Hogan. Peter wore a disguise so that no one would make fun of him if his plan didn't work. He'd been teased and taunted enough. When Peter challenged him, Crusher Hogan laughed. But Crusher soon found that he was very wrong to do so. <laughs> Peter was paid well for the victory. A man in the crowd even asked him if he'd want to be on TV. Things finally seemed to be going right for Peter. Plus, Peter had his Aunt May and Uncle Ben at home. They were still doing everything they could to make him happy. His uncle had even saved up for a special microscope that Peter had wanted. With his new microscope, Peter's experiments would be better than ever. Uncle Ben reminded him that knowledge and science were power. And, Uncle Ben told Peter, With great power comes great responsibility. Peter was too excited to settle down. He used his new microscope, his chemistry set, and his knowledge of science to create a very special fluid. It had the strength and stickiness of a spider's silk. Then he created devices that could spin the fluid into a web, the same way a spider would. He called them his web shooters. Finally, he designed a sleek new costume. Now all he needed was a stage name. He arrived at one as good as any other. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can, spins a web. Peter's TV appearances were a huge hit. After all, who wouldn't be amazed by a Spider-Man climbing up walls and swinging from his own webs? Soon, everyone wanted a piece of Spider-Man. Peter was starting to feel important, wanted, and powerful. No one would ever be able to push him around again. Not when he had powers like these. Peter got lost thinking about how wonderful his new life would be. He daydreamed about fame and celebrity. And when a security guard called for help down the studio hall, Peter ignored him. The crook that the guard was chasing raced into an elevator. The doors closed and the thief escaped. But Peter didn't care. He had great power. And from now on, he only needed to look out for one person, himself. It didn't take long for Peter to forget about the officer and the escaped criminal. In fact, by the time he got home, they were the furthest things from his mind. He was just happy to be with the people who loved him. And his spare time, when he was not studying or home with his family, Peter went out as the famous spectacular Spider-Man. But one night, on his way home from a TV performance, Peter arrived to find something worrisome. Peter knew something was terribly wrong, and he was right. His Uncle Ben had been attacked by a criminal. The police officers told Peter not to worry. They had the crook cornered at an old waterfront warehouse. Peter ran upstairs, put on his costume, and swooped over the city to avenge his uncle. Peter was quicker and more furious than ever before. At last, Peter arrived at the warehouse. He landed on the far wall. The thief was stunned. And that's when Spider-Man sprung into action. He jumped down. He webbed the gun from his hand. Punched the guy. The crook's hat flew from his head. And Peter finally took a good look at him. Peter felt a heavy weight in his chest. 
it couldn't be but it was the man who attacked his uncle was the same man he allowed to escape into the elevator at the studio if only peter had stopped him then if only he had not acted so selfishly stunned peter tied up the criminal in webbing and dangled him off a street lamp for the police to find the most peter could do now was prevent him from hurting anyone else through the haze of his grief peter realized something he had not chosen these abilities but it was his obligation to use them for good it was not about money or fame or any of the other rewards his powers could give him he had finally realized that what his uncle ben had told him was true with great power comes great responsibility and that was the rule that peter parker lived by from that day forward the end thanks for watching if you enjoyed the story grab a copy from your local library or own one by buying books in store and online for more read aloud story videos please subscribe to our channel and check out other fun stories please give us a thumbs up and share so we know what you're liking and we continue to bring you more and more and more videos keep reading